Hello everyone. I am Varsha. Hope you all are doing good. So I am here to discuss with you the geography previous year questions. So all you must all know that we have started the previous year questions discussion se uh, session. The first class on history previous year questions I have uploaded. So thank you for all of your views. So ipo number daily first history we have taken now geography then we will move to polity economy. So daily five five questions from each subject so that at least you will know. what is the uh, background how the questions have been asked how the questions have evolved from the time period earlier times to the present times and how all the questions are interlinked so basically na munnadi nariya time explain panirken the one thing the bible for upsc is simply the two things the first one previous year question paper and second one syllabus so idu da bhagavad gita bible quran guru granth sahib whatever the things you want to say you can say it. but these two things without these two things it's impossible nearly impossible to clear this examination so you should know first of all the syllabus and second thing the previous year questions ideas definitely irukano because nearly 25 to 30 questions upsc cds nda capf சிவில் சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் இந்த கொஷின்ஸோட ரிப்பீட்டட் தான் வந்துட்டு இருக்கு நிறைய கொஷின்ஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி டூல ஒரு அட்லீஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் டு டென் கொஷின்ஸ் கோவிட் ரிலேட்டட் கொஷின் சீரியஸ்ல கேட்டிருக்கிறது அப்படியே இந்த டைம் கேட்டிருந்தாங்க இந்த சிவில் சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன்ல ஸோ மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த கொஷின்ஸ் ஆர் இன்டர் ரிலேட்டட் அகெய்ன் அண்ட் அகெய்ன் ரிப்பீட்டட்லி ஆஸ்கர் அண்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் சப்போஸ் கொஷின் கொடுத்துட்டு ஆப்ஷனாக நெக்ஸ்ட் கொடுத்துருக்காங்கன்னா நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் ஆப்ஷனாக கொஷின் வந்துடும் அண்ட் த கொஷின் கம்ஸ் லைக் அண்ட் ஆப்ஷன் ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய திங்ஸ் யூபிஎஸ்சி இஸ் பிளேயிங் ஸோ ஹியர் அகெய்ன் வி ஆர் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ஆல் த ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் கொஷின்ஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி ஸோ தட் அட்லீஸ்ட் எக்ஸாமில் உங்களுக்கு இந்த டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டு தேர்ட்டி கொஷின்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டெஃபினெட்லி யூ மஸ்ட் பி ஆன்சரிங் திஸ் ஓகே ஸோ லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் வித் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஷின் The first question is the alpine vegetation in the western Himalayas is found only up a height of 3000 meters uh, while in the eastern Himalayas it is found up to a height of 4000 meters the reason for this variation in the same mountain range is that so answering a irundalu please don't watch it at least oru thoru padinga and just try to uh, give reasons for yourself or one minute pause panittu neengale reason panunga ki indha answer irukadana yen irukku so after that listen to my explanation so here at least try to have elimination technique follow the elimination technique how you will follow the elimination technique here so the first thing given eastern himalayas are higher than western himalayas so himalayas in other this is uh, this section is your himalayas this section is a himalayas this is the western side this is the eastern side and this is the central side so id diagram liye podumbodhu na id keela potturken right and id higher la irukku so how the eastern himalayas is higher than western himalayas or at least or common basic thing so you can eliminate the a option here next second option is eastern himalayas are nearer to the equator and sea coast than western himalayas so idu paakradhu correct ah or alavukku indha statement correct ah irukkara mari theriyum ki eastern himalayas equator ku pakkama irukku and western himalayas konjam mele irukku okay agree pannala but namba kekkra question ku whatever the question is asking so is this statement giving the reason for that we need to choose so if you see forest ku tropical region ku coastal region ku sambandham enna simple basic thing namba life sustain pannu a human if a human needs to survive it needs oxygen it needs water food in the mari basic things at least id venu clothes venu shelter venu so adala konja extra poiduchu but the basic most important thing is oxygen water food id at least irukano adhe mari da or plant grow agudhu the plant will definitely need water for that so ad equator kitta iruka coastal region kitta iruka id and alavuk baadhika padadu so now question eastern himalayas get more monsoon rainfall than western himalayas so simply ipo da sonne ki or person oda basic survivability ki you need oxygen water food same thing goes for plants they too need water and water eng irukko eastern himalayas la southwest monsoon muliyama it will receive plenty of rainfall and again through the retreating monsoon the northeast monsoon it receives the highest rainfall so definitely these regions will get rainfall around 200 to 250 cm whereas the west western himalayas receives only around 50 or 100 cm of rainfall that's why in jammu kashmir ladakh regions agriculture 
is difficult. So the next option, so idu achkonga and next option is Western Himalayas rocks are more fertile than the Western, sorry, Eastern Himalayas rocks are more fertile than the Western Himalayan rocks. So idu won't correct na. Himalayan rocks, Eastern side la. Fertile are but it is fertile. How, why it is fertile and how it's fertile? Because of the influx of the river water, which is the main course of the uh, melting of the sea. Sorry, melting of the glaciers. So in the rent B and D option, correct in the Terinjalu or correct Kunjo 70-80% in Dalu, the hundred percent exact answer is the monsoon. Because if a monsoon illina either illinalu fertile alok or equator alok illinalu, the plant and the adatala. Lushia irukum vegetation adhigam irukum but rainfall illina definitely irukadu so you can say the option c is correct because of higher monsoon rainfall the eastern himalayas are receiving higher rainfall than the western so idilinda na ungalku solve mattu panna vekkala because it's simple thing you can read in your book too but here what i'm going to say na exam la eppadi neenga konjam mind apply pannu because at the end neenga 1 year 2 year 3 year evlo padichirundalu you will get only 2 hours to Proof yourself in the examination. And in the two hours, le, you will be having so much of mental pressure. Aguma, agada, ida edchna, csat, aguma, agada, clear pannavana, matana, in the attempt to poiruma. So there will be many questions in our head. And under mental pressure, le, eliminating answers becomes difficult. So the first thing, anxiety side level ekno and inga chinna 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 trick small 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 analysis. If you do, then you will easily get the answers. So simply, First option, illi in ungalikku padicha woodane terinjiro. So you can eliminate. B, C, D la confusion irindalu. Yed major reason a irukuno. 100% yed support panna the answer. You have to find in the examination there. Because definitely rend question. Ninga nalla padicha kingna vechkongla. So, or suttama padikli na or option eliminate. You can eliminate one option if you have not read that uh, topic. At least if you have read some basic knowledge. If you are having, then you can eliminate two options. And if you have read them perfectly, 100% if you know something, then only you can eliminate three options and you can get the right thing. So at least 50% padish to poe dalu in the mari or common apply answer sanga podunga and try to find out the answer. So this is one part. Now come to the second question. According to the 19, so here the question is to 1991 census but not 2001 census or 2011 census. So answer it properly. So according to 1991 census, the highest percentage of population in India is to be found in the age group of. So 2011 census study, we have said that the highest population age is matlab, working age population. India la highest are gang. That's why India is one of the youngest country, uh, highly age, uh, work age population, irkanga, economic means we can grow to the larger extent many articles are coming day to day aspect la. so if there are 15 to 45 age group maximum population according to 2011 census then if you go to 20 years back definitely young age la yung irindirpaanga kolandigala irindirpaanga appo dana valarvaanga eduthudane yaarume valaramaatanga right so definitely at that time la we will be having young age population that is the age group of 5 to 14 years and these 5 to 14 years people that after 20 15 years they have turned into 15 to 45 years age group and they are the working age population today contributing a larger section to our economy and if there is a question here according to 2011 census the highest percentage of population in India then your answer definitely should be around 35 to 40 sorry yeah, around tw uh, 25, 25, 35, you can say. So, 35 to 55 years of population number India. Like, you can say because 20 years I have yeah. So, that thing. So, next question is, consider the map given below. So, just a second. So, it's answer 25 more because 20 years are not 25 to 34 years. Ago. I have just uh, slipped my tongue. So, 25 to 30 years, pop 34 years population at present context, la, you will find. So, the next question is consider the map given below. So, in my class, I have explained it very properly about the continental shelf, continental slope concepts, everything. So, in the diagram, if you are seeing, so this is our India and India, la, the western side of our continent, the, sorry, the western side of our country is having the highest continental shelf portion and in the eastern side, we are having the lowest. The reason being 
வெஸ்டர்ன் கார்ட்ஸ் ஸோ வெஸ்டர்ன் கார்ட்ஸ் இந்தியாவில் இருக்கு தட் வெஸ்டர்ன் கார்ட்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் அப் ஆன் அ டைம் ப்ரோக் டவுன் இன் டு டூ அண்ட் இது ரெண்டாக பிரிஞ்சு ரெண்டாக டிவைட் ஆகி ஃபால்ட் ஆகி ஒன் செக்ஷன் வென்ட் இன் டு த ஓஷன் பார்ட் அண்ட் திஸ் லெட் டு த இன்க்ரீஸ் இன் த கோஸ்டல் ஏரியா ஸோ இன் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் அதர் செக்ஷன் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த திங் ஹவ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு லிங்க் இட் வித் யூ இது ஒரு டைம் கொஸ்டினில் கேட்டாங்க அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் கொஸ்டினில் ஹவ் தே ஹாவ் ஆஸ்கிருனா கி த காண்டினென்டல் ஷெல்ஃப் in the eastern coastal plain in the eastern coastal plain is wider than the western coastal plain so if in konjama uh, ungalku idea or ipo na sonnad vechi pathina western side la western ghats odanju it has gone into the water portion so definitely western ghats side means western coastal plain side the continental shelf will be the wider than the eastern side eastern side la indha mari edume illa so idu vand first question ipdi kekranga second question wider endha side nu ketanga so wider western side la irukku and narrow over eastern side la irukku so this is the answer here given just a second yeah the answer is the continental shelf there so the next question is the division along india's coastal region indicate sorry yeah that's the diagram and here's the question the division along india's coastal region include so this is india's coastal region and inga divide panni ipdi kuduthirundanga so this is the continental shelf in oceanography you will find continental shelf continental slope continental rise continental ridge then abyssal plains in the mari things ridges so, so you will find many of the things so watch our classes you will definitely get a beautiful idea on this topic so here coastal population zone adala onnu solala salinity density not at all the areas which sovereignty extends no under water relief counter so water kadila enna enna continental shelf continental slope continental rice regions la irukkun solli they have explained there so now come to the next question in the map given uh, uh, in the map given four areas are differently shaded three of which indicates cereal production areas and one which indicates the c uh, what is that uh, non cereal produced areas so cereal and non cereal ku you just cereal means rice wheat adala solluvo and non cereal means cotton jute sugar cane you will call all these uh, agricultural produce as the non cereal so here let's see what are the one and two divisions so one uh, this is the one one na id aravalli sorry aravalli solre so sorry for the word so this is the ganga valley so ganga valley la fertile soils irukku definitely agricultural production inga higher a irukum and water the maximum nearly 200 150 to 200 cm of water is essential for the paddy cultivation and ganga valley region la you will be having this much of water so paddy cultivation wheat cultivation during the winter rabi season wheat cultivation will be there and during the kharif season rabi sorry during the kharif season paddy cultivation you will find in this region so a kadaiyad next two two is which region so this region so in the region la namak again narmada sorry narmada solra mahanadi godavari krishna indha mari rivers inga flow agudhu damodar river irukku so again high rivers adhigama irukradnalae here you will be having again paddy jute indha mari crops la neenga paakalam next the third one is this third one is the red soil rich region red soil la adhigama nitrogen phosphorus potassium idhala irukadhu poor in content ah irukum so idu uh, like pulses grow pandrathukku konjam better ah irukum means water edhu kammiya use pannumo and the crops la grow pandrathukku helpful ah irukum and last one is this region the gujarat and maharashtra oda marathwada region northern region marathwada so it is completely drier in the monsoon or rainfall you will not see anything like that 50 cm vida kammiya da inga rainfall irukum so in the mari condition la cotton and jute only you can cultivate so in you rivers irukku in you rivers irukku and in you oral avukku godavari indha mari rivers krishna angra rivers la irukku but in the region la narmada tapi irundalu water level andha alavukku illa monsoon illa so definitely inga cereal crops you cannot grow because simple definition remember for cereal crops you need maximum of water for non cereal crops you need that much of water exemplary manner la so automatically the d option the gujarat and maharashtra coastal region coastal in sense the maharashtra region northern part of the maharashtra we can grow cotton and jute there so it's a non cereal crop and hence the answer is d 
so now come to the next question so understand my explanation there okay explanation is the important role which will be playing otherwise neenga question answer question answers you can do by yourself too explanation la one question ka na answer another question la kadaikum ungalku and further number geography we will complete fully so from this five questions explanation you will answer more than 5 to 10 questions in the later chapter so understand the explanations properly so the next question is monoculture of commercially viable trees is destroying the unique natural profile and in the mari questions ipo romba adhigama kekpaanga kekranga they will give the uh, what is that term? paragraph and they will give you the options and will say ki in the option uh, in the paragraph end the option pathi solludu so monoculture of commercially viable tree is destroying the unique natural profile of thoughtless exploitation of timber so understand the words exploitation of timber deforesting vast tracts for palm cultivation destruction of mangrove so understood the word mangrove mangrove where you will find definitely not in the northern regions Def you will find it in the coastal region and coastal region you extreme mangroves large amount of mangroves in the world liye not only in india in the world you will get it in the sundarban region that is the western bengal west bengal region so mangroves illegal logging nadakudhu by tribals and poaching only compound the problem fresh water pockets are fast drying up due to deforestation and destruction of mangroves so here if low sentence they have the upsc is given you to confuse it ki konjam neenga irukra pressure rendu man nerathila 100 questions solve pannu plus the mental pressure everything and upon that these type of large questions reading understanding definitely will be time taking idhu da ungala trick ah maatranga trap la maatranga so here if you know the word mangroves and if you know ki mangroves are grown in the coastal region and that coastal region you highest is found in the uh, sundarban region that is west bengal so you will ultimately give the answer that is the sundarbans the place referred to this quotation is sundarban kerala coast odisha coast andaman nicobar so ella coastal la kuduthirukanga highest cultivate uh, highest production sundarbans la da namba mangroves adhigama kadaikum so west bengal region of sundarban so i have discussed five questions today so please like and subscribe and as much as possible please share it with your friends so that i will be encouraged and uh, discuss maximum number of questions per day and can cover before prelims 2023 all the subjects prelim history geography polity economy environment and science and tech part with you so thank you so much for your time